All right, my friends, next victim. Now, this looks like a Honda clone. It's because of the split angled case right there. I know it's not a Honda because the, the dipstick would come up. It's the cutest lawnmower, right? But it really, uh, I think it's as low as you can go for a rear bagger that you can get. Uh, I got it to fire by injecting some uh, carb spray into the carburetor right there behind the filter door. And uh, yeah, I, I think it ran one season for this couple and they just put it away. Let's lift it up. I'm just going to look underneath quickly right here. Oh, it's pretty clean. It just feels tight, eh? You hear that clickety clunk clunk? You know what I'm going to do? I don't usually do this as much as I used to. Take a spark plug out and put a little bit of two-stroke fuel right into the cylinder. Because I had a hard time getting it to draw. Oh, plug's just about loose. I've been seeing a lot of that this last little while, eh? You know, I don't think there's, there's a season on that plug. Whoops, look at that. I'm just going to squirt some go juice right into the right into the cylinder. It's kind of a chainsaw trick. And I've had trouble threading these Honda clones before. There it goes. Should get about eight more turns on that. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good. I count them just in case you're not threaded in right. Okay, now this thing should fire. Okay. Boy, I wouldn't mind squirting it as it's running. Or filling up the carburetor. I'm gonna try something weird. Hmm. Here I am mucking around with the camera on. No script on this channel. Back on the show. Unplug the gas. Oh, it is unplugged and it's stripped out. Good. I don't wonder. I'm going to take the 10 millimeter bolt for the drain off. Right, right there, guys. I'm going to take that bolt out right there. Maybe we can drain the carburetor. It is worth a try. Oh, the gas is coming out of there too, eh? So now, I need my tiny, tiny funnels. How's my head? I'm okay. Good thing I didn't hit anything else. Oh yeah, we got her. We'll put just a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, two-stroke fuel down this now the carburetor, this goes right into the carburetor here now. My goodness, I think it's just...
Well, that proves that. That's, that's plugged. The needle and seat are plugged. Now let's just see if we can get it to fire. We know there's no more fuel in it. That's fine. And we're taking the carburetor off. And we're going to clamp the bar down. Take a little bit of rag and clean up the rest of the spills. an issue now. Okay, are you watching? That's it. Okay. So that carburetor is dirty. The gas is fair, but a year old. But it does run. And right now, as we speak, I'm heating up fluid for the ultrasonic cleaner because I just had a got a bad feeling about this one, Saj. I went out and started that uh, started up the soap solution from the for the ultrasonic cleaner before I even came out here. So 10 millimeter on a on a ratchet wrench. Oh, and. Uh, Congrats to Mix Mowers today. Go to his channel and have a look. Oh, the throttle is completely, completely seized. Look at that, eh? Okay, let's undo this fuel clamp. Alrighty, now I want to get this. This is so. The throttle is so corroded that it won't move, eh? Well, now it is. Interesting. Okay. It's you and me, kid. Prepare to be shocked or bored. You there? Yeah, that's pretty good. Not that bad. The needle is stuck in the, in the seat. <laughs> the air is... Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a pretty cool shot. Can you see the smoke just hanging in the air? Reminds me when I was a kid at Christmas time when every adult in the room smoked. Float and the needle are... Oh, now it's starting to move. It was just seized a little bit. I'm just going to dismantle this, give it a squirt, and stick it in the ultrasonic cleaner for 20 minutes. I think that's all it's going to need. Idler circuit. That's just about it, man. Okay. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. It's like there's hardly any time on this at all. Let's get that jet out of there. You hear when the screwdriver jiggles in like that? Okay, there's the main jet, and the emulsion tube should come out. It's already coming out. There it is. 
Yay! It's totally clogged off, and the jet is as well. I'm going to just put some air on that. Well, it might have blown free. Nope. Okay. Five more minutes on this. I've been using this a lot more. There, 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 and there should be one right up at the throat. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes in this emulsion tube, nine holes in this emulsion tube. <laughs> I had this out on the barbecue on a on the side burner. It says eighty one. It's already cool. Oh, it's staying there. Ninety two. Ninety degrees. So it's got to cool off by a lot. So I cooked my soap. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna rinse this carburetor in some used but clean methyl hydrate. Water stays in all the corners. Bowl looks great. Okay, the things with the holes in them. Okay, that's it for that. But I got more where that came from. Now, I'm going to just take this uh, jet and make it one half of a notch bigger than it is now. Okay, let's just see where we're at. Grab that guy. It's all a guess, eh? You guess, but there's no guess once you get there. Okay, so that one is too fat. That's amazing for a carburetor that big. Sorry guys, I'll come with you. I'll be there when I get there. Okay, this is my drill bit. Very, very small. And it actually fit through there. I think I just ground out. All I did was take out some varnish out of there. And maybe a tiny, tiny bit of the brass. Okay. I'm going to reassemble this now. Not touching the uh, emulsion tube, just going to blow the uh, water out of it. Same with the idler hole. Oh, yes, something I wanted to do, but I'm not sure about. <clears throat> it's just a little bit. I can find one of these pipe, these ear, what do you call these things? Q-tips? And I'm just going to stick a little bit of carb cleaner on one of these guys. I'm going to go into the carburetor and clean this out just to see. Hard to say, yeah? But we can test it. Okay. I'll be back for one shake. Everything's in control. I'm going to uh, put this pin into this float. Okay, I'm going to just try and test that with my Mighty Back Tester, and I always mention this. Ken Small Engines sent this to me. We nicknamed him Mr. Mow It All. Oh, 
Okay. You guys are looking at this upside down because I know it's too hard to do it any other way. I want seven pounds. Eight. Perfect. If it holds for 10 seconds, it'll hold for two minutes. Isn't that cool? Thanks one against. Thanks once again, Ken. Okay, we got the float in. Now we're going to insert the emulsion tube. The jet that we we didn't ream it out, we cleaned it out. That's even better. Probably just a tiny bit better than new. Thousandths of an inch maybe. Screw it in, tighten it, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it, just because it's brass. The idler circuit, <coughs> you just push in right there. Sorry, the, the mirror's backwards. There you go, right there. And then we take the idler screwer, the idler screwer holder downer which is also known as the idle adjustment pin. There it is, it went in. Okay, three times a charm. Two or three threads sticking out the other end. It's funny how everybody copied Honda after a certain period of time, right? These ones are actually easier than a Honda. And then the bowl and the Throttle is there, that's there. Bolt. Hmm. I'm going to bring that back a little bit. There we go. I got a gasket, an intake. And I'm just going to wipe this down. I'm kind of digging their little primer bulb here. That's a heck of a thing. It blows air into this flat one there. I like it. That's how they all should be. Okay, I'm going to mop the carburetor. You saw me take it over here. Uno momento. And then I think, you know, the, it's got so few hours on it, I'm just going to change the oil on it. Be right back. Alrighty, the carburetor is back on. I just have to tighten it up. I like this system. I just wish they built a better mower. Okay, gas line's hooked up. Gas line's hooked up. Carburetor's clean. I rinsed the tank by shaking it back and forth. I'm just going to put a little gasoline in there. It has almost a full thing of oil. So let's do it. The blade does not have to be sharpened. In fact, it hardly needs an oil change, but I'm going to do it. It's probably got the original oil in it, eh? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's quite a bit of fuel. Okay, half a tank. That's fair. Sit back and wait for leaks. And while that's just sitting there, I'm going to just wash a few things up and we'll come back. All right. I'm going to lower it down a bit. Three primes on the primer. One, two, three. And it should run.
So I set the RPMs at 3270. That's in between 3200 and 3600. And you do it by tweaking these levers here. Don't adjust the actual governor, this arm. Just bend this one a little bit. Or you can even bend that tang even better right there. Do you see that one? <clears throat> yeah, that's the one you should bend. My bad. Bend that little tang there. It's meant to be bent. So now it's warmed up. Running at 3,270 RPMs, I'm going to just change the oil on this bad boy. Oh, on the other side, excuse me, walk in front of the camera, bad boy. I'll never win an Academy Award like that. No, you should almost be able to see the oil there. Yes, we can. far in there is it? Wipe it down. Because it is clean. Let's we'll see if we can suck any more out of there. Not really. So let's put two pieces of wood in. I'll give it the angle of the dangle. One. <laughs> I always end up making a mess, eh? No matter what I do. Do you think that'll help? Yep. Just a little. You know, I'm going to try the other two. Just because I'm crazy. Is that the official term? If you were going to buy one of these? Say. Okay, I'm going to lower it down one piece of wood if I can without things slipping into my face. I guess that's it. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to add a half a liter of oil. Now it says right here, the last one I did, the, the labels got washed off, but it says right here to not screw in the cap to check for oil. So you just lay it in there and pull it out and it's right at the full, 500 milliliters. Now some guys say 550, but I use 500 and I've always had luck with that. And it's running tomorrow. The lady's name is Connie. We'll give her, give her a call. I'm going to just wipe it down with some fantastic. Thank you guys. Hello my friends. I've got a power smart mower here that's not so smart. But anyway, I'm going to just take the uh, valve cover off of this guy. Because I want to show you something. Okay, this is the exhaust valve right here. Now we're going to get right in there and we're going to zoom in on her. I got to get a anti brake device. Okay, so this is the intake valve, this is the exhaust valve. We're going to ro rotate this engine around. Oh, let's undo the plug just in case, right? Thanks, Mick. Come on. Stay up there. Okay. So the engine's turning over. There is the exhaust valve getting rid of the gases. It closes. And now there's the intake sucking in the gas. It closes. Alright. And now we're at top bed center. And 
we should be compressing the fuel. Oh, did you see that? Right there. There's a little bump in the exhaust valve before the compression stroke is finished and then down goes the valve there and that little decompression I'll do it again it just lets off a little bit of pressure while the pistons coming up so it's not so hard to pull okay this is on the power smart I wanted to just show you this. I got the plug disconnected. And watch, this is the exhaust valve here. Talk to the exhaust. Watch when it does the decompression click. That's the full one. Ready soon. Right there. Isn't that weird? So two problems, carburetor leaks and I can't get a different one, and this decompression can't be right.